And hello guys, welcome to Dragon Ball Super Card Games Ultimate Squad Reveal Season. Wow! My name is Loki, I'm joined by Scott, our lovely guild master. Oh, wait, How we doing here. all? How we doing? How we doing? Uh, we're doing fine. We missed it yesterday. Well, there's a good reason for that. Yes, I looked at the leader. Well, we're going to look at it again in a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday, if we did the reveals, I feel like it wouldn't have been a productive video. Put it that way. Uh, thankfully, today kind of makes up for that. So we kind of get Hopefully. a better picture of what the deck's going for. I haven't seen uh, today's yet, so... I, I, I only read Poutine because I was like, come on, please be something. <laughs> please be something. Um, and there is some. Okay. I, whether it's good or not, I don't know, but at least it's fun. I can have fun with this now. Whereas yesterday, it was looking pretty dire. I'm not going to lie. Um... <laughs> So yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with Toa, our third Toa leader. Yes, because we had the Overrun Toa, and then we had the uh, Agent's Toa. Yeah. Okay, so this Toa is, yeah, all the same tags, 10,000 power, whatever. When this card attacks, play up to one Demon Realm Soldier token. And 5k the... power, 5k combat. Not even a blocker, no keyword skills, nothing. Just 5k. 5k. Um, so then she has a, a way kind of when you're at 3 or less, or you have a black unison with a specified cost of 3, uh, you can switch up to 2 energy and play a Demon Realm token and flip over. So it's an untapped 2 energy uh, energy leader, which we haven't seen properly in a while. Like, yeah. Not in, a, not in like a sense like this anyway. Yeah, it's it's been a while because, let's be honest... Initially, when people have seen the Untap 2 Energy Awaken, they were like, oh, that's not that good. But it extends your turn. It was essentially yeah. like Senzu Bean. Yeah, it's like a, a built-in combo extender type thing. If you Exactly. Wanna... Yeah. Um, so this could have potential. It could have potential being an Untap 2 Leecher. Uh, it's just how quickly can you get into that free drop unison? Because if yeah. you're doing this, if you're awakening at free life in this format, it's not great. No. It's kind of worrying. Um, and the and the free body's nice, I guess. Again, there is a big issue with Black Mass Saiyan being a thing currently. Like, yes. it, this, Black Mass Saiyan kills this deck, <laughs> pretty much. Because uh, it's when to... the cards are played by a non-keyword skill, right? Yes. Yeah. I think Awaken is a keyword skill. Yeah, but auto, auto is not. Yeah, yeah. Not, which is the whole thing of the leader. If you can't play your uh, Demon Realm stages, yeah. you can't do dick. This um, this leader would be absolutely amazing if it came out in set three or yeah, four. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if this was if this was a cross world leader, I'd be so happy. Yeah, right because now. back then the game was still more or less the value oriented game. So getting a free card every turn, even in this way on the front of the leader, was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, so then we awaken into T Demon God Toa, Dark Leader. I, I, I didn't even realize I said it. it was just Dark Leader. Surname. Oh. Surname. Title. Yep. Yep. Title thing. I, like, at least the best thing about this is we're getting more heroes artwork, and I, I can't complain about that. Uh, when this card attacks, she draws a card! Then play a Demon Realm Swords token. Uh, cool. That's awesome. It should have like, been on both sides of the same thing. should have been on the front side. Really annoys me that this, yeah. you have to awaken to get this. Uh, but then we do have some really cool effects here, I must admit. Activate main once per turn, discard a card to play two Demon Realm tokens in rest mode. That sounds bad. Poutine makes up for this. Okay. Um, I'll take your word for it, because at the moment, the only thing I can see with the Demon Realm Soldier tokens is ca it kind of like the clone combo, tokens. Combo power. <laughs> combo power, but beside that, kind of like the clone tokens. You sacrifice your opponent's clone tokens to play your stuff. Yeah, that's true. And then Activate Battle, I do actually like this Activate Battle. It is costly though. Once per 10, Spirit Boost 1 and 1 Black uh, black Unison with specified cost of 3. It gains 10k power and double strike in the battle, so that's kind of good. Like, there is but some it, shenanigans that can happen there. It only gives it to the Unison. Yes. Which is... Uh, yeah, it costs... It's not a bad skill, depending on the Unison, and... Yeah, you need to have a unison with specified black unison with specified cost of three or more. Which I I think there is just the mirror that we'll see in a minute, right? Yeah, I think it's one. just the mirror. Yeah, uh, which obviously is intentional. It's intentional. Um, 
so then we'll go into Super Mirror if you want to take this one. Oh, so oh, actually, before we move on, overall, the leader is meh. Currently. Yeah, if you can't tell, we just move on without saying anything. That's already bad enough sign. The leader... Especially considering how much I love Toa. Like, yeah. That should be everything to you guys right now. Leaders, it feels way more like going back to that set 2, set 3, set 4. That early yeah. Dragon Ball, which was value-oriented, not combo-oriented, not speed-oriented, value. More yeah. cards, better. And this one could get you cards in a form of tokens, so you didn't use up the cards from your deck, so you could get that fatigue going. Mm. Mm. But at the moment, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nope. Uh, so then we go into Super Mirror, overflowing power. It's nice to see Super Mirror, like the red jumpsuit mirror. We don't see that often. No, because so. we usually see the white one. No, we do see it every now and then as a stepping stone, right? As a, yeah, as a stepping stone. But like, he never gets his chance to shine, so it's nice. Yeah. Nice, I like it. Uh, yeah, so, so you take a free specified black, 20,000 power. At the start of your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your skillless battle cards and gains blocker for the turn. So it stops being skillless. You give the tokens blocker. Fine, but you get only one blocker. Yeah. I would prefer something... Like, choose one of your skillless battle cards. All cards with that name get blocker. Yeah, no, no, that would be a cool one. skill. Although you are playing quite a bunch of uh, Demon Realm Soldiers, so you probably just end up with an infinite wall of blockers. But yeah, no, I, I agree. It's, it's kind of... It needs more than one. It's it's fine as an auto, but yeah, it should definitely be like two. Like... Especially those tokens can be removed very easily, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, they can. Basically, everything in the game can remove them. Exactly. <laughs> and a lot of things can remove them. Tokens, no cost, remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Fair enough. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Uh, then they have the plus ones. Yeah, so two plus ones. One of them plays two uh, tokens, and the other one removes one of your skillless battle cards from the game. It can be a token. You draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, send it to its owner's warp. Like, that second plus one is absolutely amazing, because you keep yeah. on making the tokens, and suddenly you're discarding a card, you get two tokens. If Mira survives, that's removed two of your opponent's battle cards. But again, it's value-oriented card, and it comes out fairly late. Yeah. Exactly. This card comes out on three. I would rather have this have 10,000 power and come out on two, and give two uh, tokens blocker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'd rather I, have I it build around that or have a skill that lets you play it earlier. Something like that, because it just doesn't feel right. I, it feels I like it's hoping, too slow for the current game. I am hoping, because we have seen that there is a fin with Mirror Absorbed, and that's how you can turbo this guy out. Uh, Hopefully. Playing this guy for free energy... Mm-mm. feels. Mm-mm. I mean, the idea behind playing this guy for free energy is that then you awaken, so you essentially played him for one energy... But that doesn't feel right because then you don't get anything for awakening beside that token. Yeah, exactly. It's mm, mm, mm. this feels uh, way too slow to be current Dragon Ball. Yeah, I I agree. Card's cool, but it's too slow. Yeah. So we need to see a way of getting this out cheaper. And uh, then we move on to Imperial Warrior Demon God. So Imperial Warrior is the naming convention for these demon gods, which is a pretty cool name. Uh, okay. We also get some nice new look at Toa's new dress here, which is always nice. She uh, looks Exibol. like a witch. She does. She got she got those witch vibes. Her hair's going yeah. crazy. You love to... uh, Toa with an energy cost of two or less. Uh, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less and warp it. This card is absolutely amazing, mostly because you have other Toas that... Uh, two-drop Toas with Overrealm that you can play. Yeah. That's all I'm going uh, to say, because there's that two-drop Toa that lets you, I think, throw two discard one? I think so, yeah. Something along uh, those lines. But she's like 10,000 power over round two. You can attack with her, and then you can next evolve into this. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this is not tied into any leader or anything. You just need to have a Toa. Also with cost two or less, so you can use the Toas that cost one. Mm-hmm, yep. Uh, whilst also avoiding the ritual at hand stuff, so then they're not broken. Which is good. Yep. Uh, <laughs> And then we get into Demon God Tower preparing to fight. I absolutely adore this artwork. The artwork is amazing. The card is... I actually like the card here. Eh. Um, Because when you play her, you can draw a card so she becomes a cantrip. Or you put a Demon Soldier on board, which is fine. Uh, Or then you activate Mating, which you pay one black. So essentially you're paying two energy to do this. 
uh, to get a skillless. Um, you also need to remove a token. The token represents a card from your hand that you were supposed to get. Yeah, true. So you are actually... So essentially it says, discard a card and pay two energy to play a two drop. So it turns a card in your hand for two energy into a two drop skillless from your deck. Mm. But this isn't locked to anything, so I wonder if we mm. could do some shenanigans with Shroom and Salsa. Like, that's where my mind goes with this. Yeah, that's fine. There's a lot of, you can do with her. It's just she doesn't feel that good because she doesn't have any protection. If she had, look, if she had a protection, a barrier, a deflect, mm. something on her yeah, yeah. that makes That's sure true. that you can use her skill more than once, sure. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, because you, you're only removing tokens. You're not actually removing her. Yeah, so if she had barrier, I think that'd be fair. Yeah. I think that'd be fair. Yeah, no, you make a good And that'll be an there. engine, and on top of that, yeah, you can uh, then change it from once per turn to limit one, and then you're fine, because you keep on producing tokens with your leader. You pay mm -hmm. one energy, and once per turn you get a skillless, but you have a limited amount of skillless in your deck. It oh, wouldn't yeah. be broken, but it would feel better. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so then we'll move on to today's reveals, uh, oh, wait. where yep. Putin actually kind of makes things go. shine a little bit so we see demon god poutine imperial warrior free drop two specified black zero five 14 k blocker pay one if you have one or more skillless battle cards in play play this card from your hand so okay fingers crossed this is where we're seeing things happen now so obviously you can play a token then you're playing her for one yeah uh, and she's nice. a blocker the skill is not limit, she's not unique, so you can drop as many as you have energy and her in hand. Yep. Uh, activate main if your leader card is a black demon realm race, which is basically all of the villains yep. so far. If you're uh, And you choose one of your token cards. It doesn't even have to be a demon realm race token. Just Yes, point it's out. any token ca card, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, and you remove it from the game, play up to two, uh, to play up to one skillless battle, battle card with a cost of two or less from your deck or drop and shuffle your deck if you look through it. Uh, like, so I think, like, and that's free. That is free. This card feels uh, way better than Toa. Oh yeah, 100% agree. Not only is she a blocker, she comes out for cheap. She comes out for the same price as Toa, essentially. Yeah. Uh, you don't remove that skillless battle card to, to play her. She, you just, oh, okay, I've got a token. Cool, I can bring her yeah. out. Um... There's multiple ways of getting those tokens now, even with the token negate, if you count that. Um, so you don't even have to be running the tower leader to get tokens out. And you can keep uh, on bringing back the battle cards from your drop as well, which is a huge thing. It doesn't yeah. go only from the deck. This pumps Shroom and Salsa so much. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like it. The fact that you can remove any tokens is nice because you can, if you go, for example, against Android 18, which I know is not yep. a thing anymore, you would be able to remove the clone tokens. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. And she exactly. would be live from turn one as well in that deck, against that I, deck. I think, I think that's why they did it because uh, that Black suffers from like being stuck in those matches where you can't really do anything with the tokens that they keep putting on you. Yeah. So this really helps you deal with that. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's, it's a nice card. I can see where you're coming from. It feels like, but the problem is, it feels like the leader doesn't work without this card. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, the next one's even more indicative of that. Uh, so then we get preparing to fight Demon God Poutine. I mean, I'm loving all the Poutine cards, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, so she she has barrier. She is Dark Over Realm for free. Uh, you have to pay two energy to do that, but it can be any energy. Uh, Pem, if your leader card is black and you have a Demon Realm uh, Soldier token in rest mode, your opponent can't. Uh, your opponent's battle cards can't attack your leader. Okay, so it makes yep. your tokens into deadly defenders. This yep. one is never going to end up in the rest mode. You know what's the problem no. with this card? Shoot. Um. It. You need to take away your own uh, combo power to rest your tokens beside the leader skill. Mm -hmm. She's outed by every red deck at the moment. Got barrier though. Clash on planet M2. Oh yeah, yeah, fair, fair. fair. Oh, as in like they're getting rid of yep. the... yeah. Yeah, sorry, I thought you were on about getting rid of her. No, you're on about getting rid of the tokens. No, yeah. getting rid of her. Clash on planet M2 lets your red battle card attack any battle card. Oh, you mean just by punching into her, yeah. Okay, that's fair. She has five K, and the problem is that that's the thing. She's <sighs> 
You see, this is a skill that should have been on maybe a unison. This mm. permanent. Yeah, yeah. Rather than on the battle card. Because engine cards like this... on So, this card, nice that it has barrier. Every red deck is going to be able to remove it fairly easily. Because I don't imagine red deck not running that card. We've already talked about this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, no, I mean, that's true. And I the mean, fact that the those tokens to need to be in rest mode, it's a very good reason they need to be in rest mode. Because uh, they need to be able to be attacked, otherwise you, your opponent wouldn't be able to attack at all. Yeah. Uh, and then, just just to follow up, when you play uh, from hand, yeah, uh, you play two demon realm tokens. Oh, it's only from hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just the tokens are five k power. You attacking with them just for the sake to get them rested, or you play them rested with your leader skill. Mm -hmm. And that's about that. So, yes, you can rest your tokens. You can keep on attacking with your tokens, and then essentially each of them acts as deadly defender. But then they still have no protection. They can still remove those tokens fairly easily. Oh yeah, the, the, like yeah, the gadget. The, the gadgets are going to have a very easy time yeah. dealing with this. For example, one hundred percent. No, the, 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 that's the problem with this deck entirely. It just like it. It kind of doesn't work into today's meta. Like it just doesn't. The tokens are um, too small. But if they were t if they were tanker, they'd be too big. Like that's yeah. Like... But then you take away the ability from playing them. Uh, on every single card in the archetype. Yeah, that's true. It, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, but then we move on to Shroom and Salsa. Yay! Imperial oh, Warrior. Finally they're finally here. Uh, they're not in a dogger forms. They're in their nice costume upgrade forms. Uh, so this one's a critical. Uh, it's a free drop, one specified. Black. Uh, spirit boost. Choose one skill as battle card and remove it from the game. When this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less. Ignoring barrier and warp it. Black needed this so much. This card oh, is shit. ridiculous. Like this is insane. Uh, activate main, pay one black. If your leader card is black and there are one or more tokens in your battle area, play this card from your hand. This isn't reliant on Toa because of that token negate. Yes. It's also tokens, not just demon realm. This card is nuts. This card is amazing. The fact that you have critical attacker that can remove anything with cost four less, so you can remove those engines. It's a really nice card. That like, legitimately black needed something to deal with. Um... Problem is that the no, actually, I don't think it's a problem. Even though it depends on the tokens, paying free energy for this skill is actually not that bad if you already have a unison on board. Oh yeah, no. I don't feel. I don't think it feels bad to pay free energy for this. No, if you need to. You combine this with um, the Toa Unison or something like that, or the Zero Cost. Basically, any yeah. of the Black Unisons that don't cost anything. Like, it's just Value Town. Yeah, no, I agree. This, this card is really, really nice. Yeah, like, it, this is legitimately a great card, so I'm, I'm kind of happy Shroom Shru, uh, gets some love here. And then we'll move on to Salsa Imperial Warrior. Uh, auto limit one when this card attacks look at the top five cards of your deck add up to one black android which is obviously searching for Finn uh, one or oh, Mira a... or android 8 oh shit I forgot about black uh, I forgot about uh, Mira uh, black demon god android 8 al black... there's also a black android 8 maybe you're not going to be playing him well, you might play him skillless He's support skillless. yeah I was going to say skillless you might actually end up playing him uh <laughs> Or black unison card with a cost of three. To your hand, yeah. so it, it's fine. It's a on attack searcher, and you get to play it um, if there are one or more tokens in your battle area. Again, not removing the tokens to play these guys, which is kind of necessary. Why is the limit one on the auto rather than activate main? I don't. I don't know. That's one thing I don't understand with this one. It feels way more natural for activate main to have that limit. Than the auto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the only other thing to point out about today's cards are they're all rare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's all the cards. Why? So last week we got spoiled. We got like seven cards a day. Uh, yeah, it's because there's only one leader for black, so they have to spread it out, I think. So uh, it yeah, just we, feels we've a bit... Seen, uh, we've not seen any of the commons, which are generally the combo starters, which is a weird yeah. way of doing it. Um, which I think is why it's leading to this kind of mismatch. Like, 
we need something that can pump the tokens for the turn to make this strategy viable. Yeah. I think that's like, what the Super Rare is going to do. It needs to, right? It needs yeah. to. We need... Right, there's two things this deck needs to even have a chance, right? It's not even to say viable. It's like to even have a chance, the deck needs something to get Mirror out easier than pay yeah. free energy on turn three. It's having that tutors ought... the Mirror from the deck, ideally. So you can play eight of them. I mean, technically, the Imperial Salsa tutors it. No, I mean something that, uh, for example, a two-drop Finn that... I don't know, you remove one of the tokens and that fin, uh, oh, and right, then like you play a yeah, 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 yeah. Mira. Right, okay. Um, yeah, no, I agree, that would be good. Uh, and then, obviously, something that can make the... Even if the, if you never make the tokens 10k for the turn, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, I think we might... The I think we might see something that's going to be boosting all the skillless cards. I really hope so, I really hope so. Uh, by um, 5 or 10k. I want to say 10k, but... 10k seems really strong. But, who knows? Uh, yeah, but that's kind of the point, it. right? Those tokens are, for the whole game, very easy to remove, especially for red, which just got a bunch of wide removal. Yeah, there are lots of floodgates in the format. So, yeah, I think you could get away with making them 15ks for the turn. And also, Dolman um, Potential is still in the format. Which nukes this entire board. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so tomorrow we, we, we're going to see some more stuff. Hopefully we'll see the fin. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I really don't know what else we can see. I mean, I swear to God. If Mira? I, I, no, because Mira is the Eunice. No, I think, I think we'll see a battle card Mira. I think we'll see a battle card. I think we will see a battle card Mira, and I think it will have something to do with the Unison or Finn. I, I can said... see Finn absorbing the Unison. Yeah, but then that also turns off some of, like it takes away the blockers and things like that i do hope it's not something stupid like activate main or activate battle where you remove the tokens to restand the bloody thing yeah i don't uh, know the law so i don't know how much it would be worth it but you know we'll, we'll see we'll see um but yeah overall a very underwhelming uh showcase yeah. some nice pieces for black don't get me wrong like the demon realm uh shroom is really good but and some of the poutine cards are just really good in general. But like, yeah, as as a deck, this set it's kind of underwhelming. Yeah, I think, uh, like the Dabura, right? They didn't do anything either. Yeah, they went really hard on that freaking swap mechanic, and it was just it just killed the deck. Yeah. Uh, like I, I get wanting to be careful with swap. I do. I mean, just with the black cards in general, right? Because you you only have a limited amount of characters, and you're always going to have to be trying to put them in yeah um like the one thing is i'm glad that mechikabura time power unleashed isn't in this set put it that way because we don't man, know I'd yet be, i i would be no no there's no way I'd, I'd be pissed if uh this was the like the final hurrah of the demon uh demon can this saga? shroom be tutored with that free drop mechikabura that was made for shroom and salsa what the uh old man one yeah yeah uh, probably think i can't remember what it actually does but uh probably right that, that kind that kind of now struck me that you might actually be able to tutor this room that'd be pretty cool if you could uh i'm going to actually very quickly check it if the website will work with me oh, oh old man mechikabura that's all i can't even remember its name no uh, can I. I was... but there's not many mechikabura cards so no, that's true. and there's definitely not many mechikabura so actually no uh, the Mechikabura king summons. Thing. That's it. That's it. Uh, if yeah. a leader is a black demon realm race and he plays this card from your hand and one card from your life in the drop, send one battle card from your opponent's drop to the warp, play up to two black battle cards with evil wizard and or demon realm race, cost of two. Okay. Uh, but you can then play this guy for one. So. Oh, yeah, no. no. It's, tokens. it's tokens. It's never mind. No, that's fine. No, but you can play the skillless ones. That's true. Because we true. got the skill as Shroom and Machika, uh, Shroom and Salsa. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. Uh, not much to say. We'll see what tomorrow is. If it's in like three or four cards, we're probably not going to do a video on it. Um, but yeah, that's that's black right now. Um, <laughs> there isn't much to say, sadly. It's kind of. It's just... not as exciting as it was when black first became a color. Yeah, it, black is a color. Bandai, thank you for that. Yes. I'll <laughs> Never, never not be a 
graceful for that uh, reminder text on the uh, what is it? Was it was it was the uh, Mask King, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it was the Green Mask King. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good times, good times. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. We're London. Uh, we're not London Players Guild. We haven't been London Players Guild for a while. Uh, we're Players Guild. I've just got something on Guildmaster, joined by Loki Smith. Subscribe, like. See you next.